So welcome back to the channel, guys. Today I have this for review. Now, if you haven't seen it, it's sold at five below. It's called the Unlock Mini Wireless Keyboard. Now, personally, I had this before. They actually sell it in white and black as your local five below. But remember, depending on where you go, it may be sold out. Now, for you guys that want to skip to the part that you want to see, timestamps will be below. With that being said, let's get right into the review. So like always, like, subscribe, and do all that fun stuff so you can see more videos. And right here, we're gonna go ahead and open this together. Very simplistic. Now it does take two USB, uh, I'll say USB, oh my gosh, two AAA batteries. Still apologize for my voice. I am a little underneath the weather. There is nothing here inside the box outside of this. It does come with your basic instructions right here about using the touchpad. Because remember, this is a touchpad in addition to being an actual keyboard. Now, you can definitely use this for your computer with no problem whatsoever. Um, when I look at this, I don't see anything that actually says Bluetooth capability. So it looks like you're going to have, realistically, just the piece right here that plugs directly into it like a PC, texturized grips, volume control, and touchpad. So, <clears throat> like you see right here, you'll be able to change songs forward and back pause and play, volume up, volume down. I know you probably wonder what that V was. You can set it hotkeys for emails and different things. You can uh, actually turn the mouse pad off if you accidentally touch that, which I don't know why you would really want to do that. Um, this one has, I'm sorry, I'm wrong about that. This is left click. This is right click. If you look at the buttons right here, I made a mistake on that one. Uh, right here is the E, I'm guessing Internet Explorer. Home button, search. To be honest, if you're hooked up to a PC, nine times out of 10, you're not going to use any of these hot key buttons, but some people do set them. Personally, I don't. Left, right, up, or down, okay. Again, this is another left click, right click, which is a little odd that they have two of them. I wasn't expecting that, but I guess if something breaks, you have the option for more. Uh, also, you have your full keyboard, not full keyboard, but full QWERTY keyboard, keyboard, along with the F key. So for the most part, you don't have your up, down, left, right. Well, actually up, down, left, right is probably right here, is, is my guess. Um, your Windows key is down here, FN, Control, Shift, Caps Lock, Tab. So you can use this without a problem with a Windows computer. I don't know about your Mac users. Now, I do know that some Macs, a lot of PC uh, remotes, or uh, I don't know why I'm calling this a controller because it looks so much like one. With these types of keyboards, uh, with PC sometimes, I'm sorry, not PC, with Mac sometimes they do work. It's just that the button placement will be a little bit differently because you know, Mac keys are slightly different than the actual PC keys, but it is what it is. Now, let's go ahead and flip it over. This is the back piece right here. As um, soon as you pop that off, you have your USB dongle right here, sitting here waiting for you, and your two, what is this called? AAA batteries. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in real fast. And then we'll take a look at the actual instructions. And like I said in the beginning of the video, whatever part you wanna see, this for timestamps is for where I'm going to actually have this hooked up to my PC so you guys can actually see it in real time. And this is your on and off button up top. I didn't even see that. And apparently this has a micro USB. What? What is that about? So I'm guessing a USB is if you want to use it directly connected to the computer, which I'm about to take a look at these instructions right here for someone that might have this and didn't use it. So this is a troubleshooting instructions right over here. All right. Right here, specifications, up to 10 meters operation range. So obviously you're not going to different rooms with this thing. You will be sitting in the same room. Windows 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. There you go. So you know it works for that. Not that you really needed the help because if it works for Windows 10, it's going to work for Windows 11. Nine times out of 10. Uh, here's the touchpad. It tells you how to use it and the function keys uh, the on and off for the mini keyboard. It tells you about the battery replacement. And then we have this right here which apparently they have other, well, it shows you what to use. It can be used for tablets, streaming, gaming. Oh, so apparently, uh, I know Xboxes allow you to hook up keyboards, so you could use this for an Xbox if you wanted to. Uh, smart TV. And then you have your function keys and different things right there. Now, the only unfortunate part I can say about this so far is that I do not see anywhere where it has Bluetooth capability. This would have been more ideal if it did, 
simply because you would have been hooking up to tablets and whatnot. But they're t but the tablets they're talking about seem like older tablets. Well, no, 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 no. No, tablets do do have USB A's. Now that I think about it, though a lot of them have USB C's also. It is what it is. So anyway, with that being said, let's go hook it up to a computer and see how it reacts in real time. All right, guys. So right here, I have the keyboard. We are going to do the test on it. Just do a typing test and just press some hot keys, not hot keys, but some buttons to see how responsive it is. Remember, it's connected through micro USB, I'm not micro USB, USB A. Uh, once we're done with that, we'll do a second test, which will be, what is it called? If I can use this with the micro USB cord connected directly to it. So first, like I said, it's in wireless mode. I'm gonna go ahead and press the button, as you can see, and turn it on, that red light. So we can do that for you, should pop on. Get in the camera. Oh, I hate doing this. There you go. So that red light is on over here, which means signify the keyboard is on. I'm gonna hit. Let me see. I'm gonna go ahead and click into this and see if it works. It's working. It's definitely working. Okay, I'll give it that. So it looks like every time you hit the button, uh, the little uh, what's it called? If you're looking at this, let's see if I can see it right here. You see that little orange light that pops up every time you hit the button? It looks like it's it's key input letting you know that you're hitting something. So that's cool. Um, the mouse pad works just fine if I slide it back and forth across the screen. Uh, you do have the option, to, just like a regular keyboard, to touch the mouse pad right here. And then just tap on the actual touch screen. And it'll jump to whatever section you want. And then you could just hit delete and edit whatever you want. So, uh, like I said, this is right click. <clears throat> this also functions as right click. This right here is left click. So, it, you know, it depends. Like, it's not a bad keyboard. I'm going to go ahead and tap the button, this little circle button up here that looks like a uh, magnifying glass art. So, it looks, it takes you straight to the finder. Interesting. Uh, do that. Yep. So, it looks you find what it is that you're typing. I'm going to hit the email button. Yep. The email button actually pushes up mail. You can't see it on my screen because uh, other windows are opening up. One second, guys. I apologize for the, uh, I'm very, very sick, but I wanted to get this video out. Um, yep, this button functions as the pause and mute. If you go up and down, so it looks like everything, all the buttons are already preset, the shorts, and everything already seems to work. Also, if you press this left, right, up, down, it will also make it go left or right, up and down. If you press enter, okay, this doubles down as enter and starts the next line. So this is a pretty good keyboard so far. I like it. Now, obviously I wouldn't use this to replace my keyboard sitting in front of me at my computer. I wonder, could I? I mean, it's possible. But the thing is, since I play computer games that do require me to type certain things in, this is a little small. If the keys were half, if this was like, this is the keyboard that I currently use. Now I know for some of you guys, you see me do other keyboards, but this is my favorite, the Microsoft keyboard that I have. I got it for like, I don't know, 39, probably $39 something at Micro Center. Love this keyboard. I don't have any connectivity issues whatsoever. I can sit at different angles at my computer, you know, sometimes depending on how your dongles are set up and how old or new your computer is, you might have issues with it disconnecting or not picking up certain key strokes. I don't have any issues with that whatsoever because I prefer everything to be wireless. Even my mouse is wireless. I hate cords. It's just clunky and nasty. I don't think anybody should have that. But again, like always, this actually works very, very well. I like this a lot. And um, what's funny is that I had one previously. We're talking months ago, but I never reviewed it. I gave it to someone because they said they needed something for travel. So I just gave it to them, it was still sealed in the box. But now I, yeah, I actually regret it. This is really, really good. It feels good, it had to texturize grips. I'm not saying that you'll use this to replace a mouse altogether. Because if you're a fast typer, uh, these buttons are a tad bit small, as you can see, if you're a fast typer. But I like it. The keyboard is very good to me. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm coughing again. So let me go ahead, we got this section out of the way. I'm going to cut away and I'm going to plug this into the computer and see if it works that way too, like direct connect. All right, guys, it's time for the second attempt like we talked about. So right here, I have my USB. I'll just go ahead and plug it up so you see that I'm doing it in real time. 
Because I don't want anybody to think that, oh, he's faking it. No, I'm, 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 I'm quite telling the truth. Now, the dongle is, is still attached to the computer. <clears throat> and as you can see, the buttons are off. It is completely off right now, and it's not working. I'm going to hit the home button. Nothing is moving. There's nothing I could do right, there, right now because I purposely have it off. And I wanted to see if this has the capability of being directly connected in case your batteries are dead. I know a lot of times, uh, I didn't see anything in the instructions that said that. So let's go ahead and try that out. Let's see. All right, so, so far, no, it's not working while currently connected. Let me take the dongle out and then turn it on and see if that works. Nope. All right, so this does not have the capability of being directly connected to a computer. Uh, what you're going to have to do is I'm going to put the dongle. Let's see if I can get it view back in. All right. Turn it on. There we go. And I'm back. All right. Let's see. Actually, let me go ahead and click that. There we go. Backspace. All right. So, yeah, it doesn't look like it could be directly connected. Now, let me try it again. <clears throat> let me try to do it one more time with the dongle not in. I'm just going to go ahead and plug this in directly. Try it one more time. Yep, it didn't recognize the USB, it says. Let me try one more time, just for video purposes, to make sure, because it could be me, and I doubt it is. Nope, it se doesn't seem to work with the cord connected, so there's that. So this is going to have to be a wireless keyboard. <clears throat> um, you are going to have to use the dongle that actually comes with it. Just be aware of that. And again, it's not a bad thing at all, because I think this was like $5.55 when I got it. I don't remember. I know they, they changed the products of certain things on a regular basis at Five Below. And to be honest with you, for the price tag, I, I didn't expect it to be directly cord connected anyway. And you don't buy something like this to use a USB to connect it. It doesn't even make sense, in my opinion. So it's, it's a pretty good keyboard for what it does. So with that being said, let's go on. Let's go on. Hop on to the last section and talk about you know, is this actually worth purchasing? So I'm going to go ahead and answer the question. Then explain, of course, is this worth five dollars and fifty five cent? Whatever it is that it costs. One thousand percent. I like this keyboard. Now, like I said before, if you're an avid keyboard user and you know how to type fast, remember, most people can type two thousand words a second on their smartphone. And if you can do that, you can use this with no problem. Now, I, on the other hand, am not a fast typer. I'm adequate enough, but it's been a very long time since I had to actually do like extremely fast typing, like you're being monitored and keystroke monitor. I don't have to worry about that. So I'm out of touch with that for years. Now, I like this for $5 and some change. This is a very good keyboard. Would I use it to replace my current keyboard for my current computer? Of course not, because I have so many keyboards. I have a computer desk. I wouldn't do that. Now, on the flip side, if I had a monitor, I'm sorry, not a monitor, a, uh, a tablet, what I will also say is that I have folding keyboards also sitting inside my drawer that I will not touch ever again, probably, because it was just an impulse buy and I just happened to purchase it. But this guy right here is not bad for the price. It's It comes with everything. Yep, $5.55. It comes with everything that you need outside of the batteries. That's the only unfortunate part. It would have been better if this was able to be chargeable. But then when I think about it, chargeable keyboards tend to only last a certain amount of time and most people would prefer to just pop batteries in it and forget it so as long as you turn this off on the top as you can see right here on an off position you leave that off which it is on right now i'm sorry it's in the off position right now you're fine the battery should last a very long time similar to like if you put it inside of a uh, remote for a tv or something it works great if you ever have a broken mouse pad the mouse will work right here too though what i will say is that the mouse doesn't feel as responsive as obviously a regular mouse that you would use primarily because with a regular mouse you have the hand glide which makes it easier to move around while this is just a small finite area where it's like you know you can't do too much and it doesn't seem like it has the ability uh i'm sorry this i saw a feature i forgot if you slide this up and down you can slide the pages up and down 
or you can just press up and down, however you want to. But the point is it has all the features of a regular mouse pad. It's just a touch pad instead. I would have preferred if this was a little bit looser and easier to move around because you might find yourself sliding it two or three times to get across the screen. And for me, that's not life or death because I would never use this as a primary mouse pad. It's just not for me. Like if I'm sitting at my desk, I don't want to just hold it up to my hands like this and start typing because I want to have to look at my fingers and type up whatever it is that I'm typing. And it's not a big deal at all. I'm just being, listen, it's, it's first world problems. I'm just complaining about stuff that honestly doesn't even matter. The point is that for the price tag, it works very well. Um, like I said, I had this years ago. I had this. We're talking back when Metro by T-Mobile wasn't a thing, but it was still Metro PCS. This is not a new product. This is actually years upon years upon years old. But Five Below happened to get it. Um, they make newer versions of the same thing. But, but I remember having this exact thing. We're talking probably like 10 years ago. So it's not new technology or anything like that to anyone that's wondering. And don't get intimidated by it. My thing is, if you buy it, try it out. You might actually like this instead of using the big bulky keyboard sitting at your desk. You might want to sit at, a, you know, hook up your computer to your TV in your living room, which a lot of people do. They got 4K TVs or HD TVs, and you don't want messy cords. And you could just use this to do everything for you where it's on your lap, it's small, it's easy to use, and you could just toss it back when you're done and just put it in the drawer when you're done. But to each your own. So like always, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.